Hey there, today we are going to go through how we can use barrier and border blocks in Minecraft Education Edition. So let's have a look at this one. So I'm going to hit E to open up my inventory. And this one's quite easier to find. It's right down here. So it's a little red one, but you can type in border if you want. So I'm going to take this border block and what I'm going to do is try and place it down, but it won't work. Okay. I'm trying right clicking to place and nothing happens. The reason why that is, is because I need to hit enter. I need to go forward slash WB, which stands for world builder, world builder. So sorry, you need to change your status. So we then hit enter and I should now, if I come over, be able to place these down. So I'm going to just build a little box around my student layer here. Just, I'm gonna swap devices here, but there's a student. Okay, so I'm going to switch over and it doesn't matter how hard I try. Okay, I can't get out. So I'm trying to go forward. So if I drop down a little bit more, so I'm flying at the moment. Let's push my screen up a bit. So you can kind of see because I'm constantly pressing the W key, I can't actually get out. Okay. I'm also going to try and destroy these and you can kind of see that we get this little, you know, this faint hollow black thing coming up. Our other one though, which is cool to use are called barriers. So they, you won't find them in the inventory. What you've got to do to get these ones is that we're going to go enter. You're going to go forward slash and I'm going to write the word give. Okay. Now I need to work out who's receiving it and I want it for myself. Selfish, I know. So I'm going to write my, that's my username for oh, my name that's in this account. So Nathan R. And then it wants to know what do you want? What is it that you want us to give you? And in this case, I want something called a barrier. There it is there. So I write out barrier and I hit enter and you'll see down the bottom there on my hot bar number two. So if I press two, it's going to move over. I now have this um, uh, barrier and what I can do is I can place it down and in a way I could do the same thing and actually I'll be nice this time. I'll lock myself in. That's what I need and you know I can keep going up and around like so. Okay, and I've created this wall. And I, if I walk into them, okay, I can't do anything. But they're different to the barrier ones because I can fly up and go over the top of it. Okay, that doesn't matter. Okay, I can also technically just destroy and walk out. The benefit of these ones and why we quite often use them sometimes is that once we don't, once we're not holding it anymore, so if I was to press one to change what I'm holding, I can't actually see them. You can see that the computer picks up that they're there, but technically I can't see them. So when I walk, I kind of just walk into these invisible blocks. It's the same thing if I was to fly out, you can't see them, okay? But now if I hit two on my keyboard to show the second thing in my hop bar, there they are. So one, two, so they're kind of like invisible blocks in a way. All right, guys, that is our barrier and border box. I hope that you find them useful and we will see you again soon. Cheers.